Hello, welcome to Nursing with Professor B. My name is Bridget. I have a master's degree in nursing education. I'm also a family nurse practitioner. In today's video, I will be covering common medical conversions that you need to know, especially if you're in nursing school. This will help you on your um, dosage calculation exam. But before we get started, make sure you hit the like button, make sure that you subscribe, and make sure you turn on that notification bell. It helps other people find my videos. I'm trying to pay off my student loans and, uh, it was either YouTube or OnlyFans. I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, common medical conversions that you will use in your nursing career or whatever profession that you are watching this for. 15 drops gtt and if you add an s it can be for drops multiple so one drop is gtt the abbreviation drops uh, multiple could sometimes be written as gtts anyways 15 drops equals one milliliter these are just some things that i recommend you simply memorize that uh, your your nursing school you're just gonna have to memorize it so 15 drops is equal to one milliliter one ounce is equal to 30 milliliters one milliliter is equal to one cc so back in the day they a lot of you may see older nurses or people or older medical doctors refer to things as a cc this is no longer utilized it's not uh, the correct terminology anymore we are supposed to say milliliters there was er there were errors occurring with the cc so it's the same thing though so if you ever hear a medical doctor or an older nurse say, I gave 10 cc's of this, you know, okay, 10 milliliters. You can just already know it's a one-to-one -one ratio, basically. For every one milliliter, it's one cc. You know that they are equivalent. One teaspoon equals five milliliters. So if you have a calculation problem that says, you know, patient was given five mLs, how much teaspoons would that be? Or if you're trying to help a patient out in regards to how they should be administering the dosage to their children, one tablespoon is 15 milliliters. And we're gonna get to this one. So that means that one tablespoon, because one tablespoon is 15 mLs, it's going to be three teaspoons because five plus five plus five is 15 or five times three is 15. One tablespoon is 15 mLs. So that's another one that you need to know. One cup is equal to eight ounces and then eight ounces is equal to 240 milliliters. When you multiply 30, by eight, eight times three is 24, you add the zero, you get 240 milliliters. As I said before, one tablespoon is equal to three teaspoons. So one big spoon is equal to three little spoons. One liter is equal to a thousand mLs. And with the metric system, it's really simple. You just move the decimal point three places, one, two, three, when you're moving in whatever direction you're moving in. One kilogram is 2.2 pounds two tablespoons is one ounce one milligram is equal to a thousand micrograms one gram is equal to a thousand milligrams one kilogram is equal to a thousand grams so these are common medical conversions i would memorize this for a free copy of this chart you can email nursing with professor b at gmail.com i just ask that you please subscribe to my channel and i'm doing this introductory video because i will be doing a video on dimensional analysis which is a way to solve uh dosage calc problems in nursing and when i say dosage calc i mean dosage calculation not calculus mm -hmm.